I'm John Lee and in this brief video I'll talk through the options for obtaining your final Word document for the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries Core Statistical Paper B exams. The CS Paper B exams involve the statistical package R. However, the profession requires that students submit their answers in a Word document. This Word document needs to include your code, the output of your code, including any graphs, and any comments that you may have on the code. So how do we go about that? Well, before you even start your exam, you would be wise to get your blank Word document ready. Put your ARN, but not your name, on the first page, ideally in the header. Also, I would recommend you save this Word document now and every time you add something to it. The exam instructions require you to save it as your ARN, underscore the name of the exam, for example, CS1, underscore, and then the exam date, for example, April 2021. Also, before you start the exam, I would recommend that you get yourself a new script window and write your code in here rather than working only in the console window. This means you can keep your code all in one place while you are perfecting it and then only submit your final version. Do save your blank script file before the exam and regularly during the exam in case something crashes. And I've heard too many horror stories from students about this, so just take it from me, it's a good idea. Also, before the exam starts, you should load up any packages and the data sets that you'll need for the exam. OK, here's an exam script that I prepared earlier. Now you have a choice about where to put your comments. You could copy the code in and then write your comments directly into Word. Or you could write them directly in the script window by placing a hashtag before them. So R knows that line is not code, but a comment, and so doesn't run it. Personally, I put them in the script so that I don't have to keep flipping back and forth between R and Word. Now, the diagrams appear in a separate window in R Studio, But notice, but I always write C diagram 1, C diagram 2, and so on as comments in my script file to remind me where they go. Now, rather than copying across the code from the script window and then the output from the console window, it will be quicker to copy both the code and the output from the console window. You could do this as you go along, but again, this would mean flipping back and forth between R and Word. So I would do this either after each question or all together at the end. Let me show you how. Supposing we've just finished the question or the whole exam, what I would recommend you do is you clear your console, either by typing Control L or clicking on the brush icon, and you clear your plot window, again, by clicking on the brush icon. You can also clear your environment if you so desire. Highlight all of the code or the question you've just done in the script window. I've done Control A and then run all of it. Control Enter. Double check that there's no red error codes by scrolling back through the file. You can see there are no error codes there, so we're good. Now, unfortunately, Control A doesn't seem to work in the console window, so manually highlight all of the content. We're going to copy it, Control C, and then paste it all in Word by doing Control V. At the time of recording, though, the latest version of our studio, version 1.4, seems to dislike being copied into Word. If it doesn't appear when you press Control V, you can either click on Paste and choose this third option that says Keep Text Only, or you can right click and choose the third option amongst the Paste options. My version's fine, so here it is. Now all we have to do is put the graphs in. So use the arrows in the plot box to go back to your very first image and then click on export and copy to clipboard and copy plot. Now, if you're short of time, we could just paste them all at the end of the document because we labeled them C diagram one, C diagram two, and so on. Alternatively, if you've got time, you can do a quick search for C diagram 
and then place them in the correct places. So here's my first. Flipping back, doing my next one. Export, copy to clipboard, copy plot. Jumping back to Word, putting it in there. And then going for my final one. Export, copy to clipboard, copy plot and placing that there. And I save this document and I upload it to the portal before the end of the time of the exam because it is time stamped. However, there is another alternative and it's also the quickest method to use what's called the compile option. I go back here, click on file, click on compile report, choose the output MS Word and click on compile. You can now see that it has created a new document which contains everything. So your code, the output of your code, including any graphs, which we'll see in a moment if I scroll down, in the right places, and all the comments that you've made. Now obviously this looks slightly different to what we had before. We can quickly get it to look the same by highlighting the whole thing, removing the shading, removing the italics, removing the colors, and you'll also notice that the output has double hashtags before it. We can remove those by doing a find and replace. And now it looks, oh, there's also a little bit of bold. Let's remove that as well. There we are. And finally, we can change the font to what we had before, which was Lucida Console. Now you can see it looks pretty much the same as our other document. Okay, apart from we've got blue on the executed code. Unfortunately, at the time of recording, the IFOA has stated in the CS1 and CS2 examination guide that students are not permitted to use R Markdown or NITR to produce their output. And unfortunately, when we ran the compile option, it uses these as part of the process. However, if this changes in the future, then you'll see that this is much quicker approach to doing it than what I went through before.